Hi, this is Diana and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to be working with some leftover ideas and we are going to be making crispy burritos. We are going to use the leftovers from our pulled pork recipe that you've seen in our video and our salsa recipe that you have also seen in one of our videos. So let's get started. In this recipe, we don't need to cook too many things, but we do need some refried beans. I do not like to use refried beans. I like to use the fresh pinto beans. And I'm gonna show you how so, to use them. So let's get over there and we'll start cooking them. Okay, we're gonna put our beans in our pan, our pot. And we wanna add all the juice as well as the beans because this helps make it more flavorful. We're going to turn our pan onto high and we're going to bring this to a boil. Okay, as you can see, our beans have come to a boil. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get our pot potato smasher and we're going to start mashing some of the beans. And what that does is helps um, create, make the juices. Uh, get thicker because it the starches and that come out on the bean now you don't want to Smash all your beans. You want to leave some of them whole All we're doing is smashing them so we can get the juices thicker and get the flavors of the beans in with the juices See how see how they're smashing and you'll see how your juices start thickening up. Of course, we want them a little thicker than that, but we're gonna let them cook more. We're gonna turn them down to medium now that we've smashed a lot of our beans, and we're gonna turn it down to medium and let them cook and get thicker. Our beans are getting uh, uh, the juice and that are getting thicker. And that's where we want it. And we want to uh, keep stirring this now that it's, as the beans, as the, the juice is thickening up, you want to keep stirring it. And now we want to add, we like to add cheese to our beans. So we're gonna, we're adding some cheddar. We're gonna add some cheddar. You can add whatever flavor of uh, cheese that you like, but we're gonna add this cheddar, not too much, just a little bit to add some extra flavor. And we're gonna stir that in. And we're gonna, this is almost finished now. We got maybe, oh, another five minutes and this will be great. Okay, our our beans are done. Uh, they're, they're as thick as we want to. Now remember, if you like them thicker, then you just cook them a little longer. Keep, keep boiling them, keep them, keep stirring them so they don't stick to the bottom. And uh, so let's turn these off and uh, let's go set up our burrito. Hi there again. We're ready to assemble our burrito. Remember that we want I have my fryer here and I set that at 350. If you don't have a fryer, you want to uh, have some oil in a pan and get it heated up to about 350 also. So now we're ready to assemble our burritos. First thing we're gonna do, we have our pulled pork that we made uh, a while back, and it's our leftovers. So we're going to um, put some of that in our burrito. And you don't want to put too much in because you remember, you don't wanna overstuff your burrito. So yeah, that should be about enough be uh, beef. Now we're gonna put our beans on top. Okay, a little cheese. And we're gonna add Remember that salsa we made? Or you can go back and look at my video that where we made the salsa. Now we're gonna add a little bit of that. You don't want to put too much of the salsa in because uh, we're also, you can always add some more on top and that. So we're just gonna add a little bit of salsa. 
And uh, before we made this, we warmed the burrito a little bit so that it would be a little bit more pliable. You can warm it in the microwave or you can warm it on top of the stove. So we're gonna bend this edge in and this edge. Then we're gonna pull this over like this and then you just wanna kinda roll it and turn it. Okay, so we have one burrito ready there. All right, we're gonna get our burrito. You wanna get them in to the fryer as soon as possible and you wanna start off with the side that doesn't have the meat in it. And that's, that's this side here on us. So we're gonna put it in here and we're going to put our oil down. And there she goes. You can, if it starts opening a little bit, you can kind of take your flippers and hold it. When you see that the bottom part is getting a little brown, then you wanna turn your burrito over and let it cook on the other side. See how it's golden brown in there? Mmm, looks really good, huh? As you can see, our first one's done and we're gonna put it in a plate. We were letting the oil drain. We're gonna put it in a plate. Ooh, that looks beautiful. And we're gonna try one more. Let me go get another tortilla. Be right back. Okay, we're finishing up the last one and we're going to dish it up and we'll be right back. Wow, look at this, how beautiful it came up. We dressed it up with some cheese on top and then some sour cream and a little bit more of our um, salsa. Does it? Oh, I wish you guys could have a bite. It looks so good. Come on, you gotta try this recipe. Let me try some now. Ooh, so crispy. Mmm. Mmm. Can't wait to taste it. Like I said, I wish you could, I wish you could have a bite of it. Please try to make this, it's delicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed your time in my kitchen and I hope you will enjoy this crispy burrito recipe. Now remember to give us a thumbs up, comment us and subscribe. And the recipe will be in the sub bar below. Bye now. Hi guys, as always, I put three videos up top. Give it a click, it'll take you to that video. And then there's that subscribe button, the Make My Mommy Smile button. Please give it a click, and we'll see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.